when we figure out that it's part of that. But you guys are getting the privilege of hearing my needs work section. Okay. <laughs> That's why I bring that up. So we air I, think, I think he's giving us a handicap is what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> If I were to play golf with y'all, I would get a handicap. So you're playing my game. So that's how it's it's going to be reversed. All right. Let's see. We'll start off with. Excuse me. Let's let's make this official. Bad joke competition round one. Let's ding see. ding. All right. What is the most sarcastic body of water? That would be the Crimea River. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, ding. <laughs> so bad jokes and dad jokes. Okay. So, so the comedian, That's whatever you bring to the That's, table, the comedian totally the jumps point. into a commanding lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have one. All right, Mr. Neal. After a particularly bad round of golf, a golfer spots a lake as he walks despondently up to the 18th hole. He looks at his caddy and he says, I played so badly all day. I think I'm going to drown myself in the lake. The caddy, quick as a flash, then comes back and says, I'm not sure you could keep your head down that long. <laughs> Comedian yeah, still has a commanding Com- lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that was my best one. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. All right, my turn. Guy wakes up on a deserted island. He looks around. The sand is a shade of red. The sky is a shade of red. Even the water is a shade of red. And he looks down and he goes, oh, my God, I've been marooned. Oh, oh. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Not only should you get a point taken away, you should be like, we should just throw you off the game for that. He's done. That was was it. (laughs) Okay, so I guess the... uh, the highbrow humor doesn't work in the room. <laughs> I didn't know that's what we called that. But yeah, that's what I call it. Absolutely. After the first round, Bert won, Neil zero, John thrown off the show. <laughs> well, you just you just label him as marooned right there. <laughs> there you go. Just keep Perfect. it consistent. That's funny. You always know it's going to be good when the the hardest, like the best laughter you hear is your own. Yeah. You're just hoping other people are falling, but you're just like, oh, please think this is as funny as I thought it was. <laughs> Sometimes just laughing at other people's laughs get it, get it done. Yeah. Absolutely. That's all, all right. Takes. Round two. Bert, you ready? How many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? None because they prefer people to be in the dark. Close, but no. Uh, it only takes one psychiatrist to change the light bulb, but it's got to be open to change. <laughs> John, what do you think? Not the best, but I'm no. it'll work. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be better than ours. So he's, I guess he's jumping into the highbrow humor category. You know, <laughs> that's what I tried. It was so successful for you. I was like, well, I don't want him to be alone. Let me show him. I mean, I'll, I'll show him that I can do that too. I didn't, you know. He did warn us that he sets the bar in the middle. Yeah, so. <laughs> I adjusted uh, after round one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of a little bit of a letdown, but again, still better than what we've got. All right, I've got one. What's the easiest shot in golf? I don't know. Nothing. 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 We got nothing. Your fourth putt. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not only kind of funny, but that's just absolutely true. It is. Yeah. So that's and it's just... sad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I drove the green, but I four it. <laughs> that's why I'm crying. My turn? Well, yeah, again. Okay. It's not a hard game, It's guys. not just me. <laughs> it's Bert, Neil, John. Bert, Neil, John. It's... <laughs> I feel I, like uh, you did that to make me feel better, and I appreciate that. We, uh... <laughs> you know, I, I'm, um, I'm currently reading a great book. You need to read. I, I like books about science and science stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm reading a book about anti gravity. I just can't put it down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like that. I like, that, was, that was actually intelligent dad humor. <laughs> he is, yeah, he is all about the taking the high road of comedy here. Man. 
He's, he just brought physics into the mix. I wasn't ready for that. Ding, 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 ding. I believe it's it's uh, Bert won, Neil still uh, on deck, and John won. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> All right, last round. Let's bring it, fellas. All right. Um, all right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high road with this one. See if you guys will keep up with this and enjoy it. It is. I'll just say it's it's tough being dyslexic. Uh, that's not the joke, but I see the laugh already. Appreciate that. But no, it's, it's tough being dyslexic. I mean, you can spend ten minutes typing out the perfect post on Facebook. You post it. You find an error, and the whole thing is urined. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I like see it. i said i said i'm taking the high road to throw you off yeah, yeah, yeah. not it i think we give him two points for that one man yeah, yeah. <laughs> well if if you're going there then i'm going i'm going down the same road as you are what's a dyslexic agnostic think dyslexic agnostic that there is no dog he doesn't believe in dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. I like that. Do I, do I get one point? I know I'm not going to win, but I want a point. Damn it. We'll give you a point. What the heck? <laughs> ding, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why not at this rate? Right. <laughs> point and a half, even. I have. I have. Um... Now it's it's Bert two. Uh huh. Me one and three quarters because I'll never win. Uh-huh. And you have one, so if if you tie, there's going to be a playoff between you two. All right, priest, a rabbi. Just, I blew it. Priest, a minister, and a rabbit walk into a room. Rabbit looks at the bartender and says, um, "I'm a typo." <laughs> See, I blew it with the set because I. I let me do, oh, let me do the other one and we'll just, we'll oh, just edit God. that one out okay <laughs> no that's actually funny that we didn't get it because <laughs> it means there won't be a playoff and <laughs> <laughs> neil's like oh. actually it works better that way i'm glad no, you did that one you know, you know half just find out i've just proven that over half of the ability to be a comedian is the ability to tell a joke not just have jokes <laughs> <laughs> that's right i've learned that <laughs> that's very great <laughs> so bert people can find you on youtube where else can they find your your stuff youtube is going to be where a lot of the videos come out um so yeah sweetheart entertainment is uh is what they can find it under and we've got series on there uh the things you're going to see is bad jokes like you mentioned we just started a new series called dunces with discs which is a bunch of comedians learning to play disc golf um oh, ho, ho, ho through like competitions, like Mm -hmm. uh, crazy competitions. So not only are we terrible to start, but then you throw into the fact, like our second video will be coming out, I think next week, you get 13 cards, you pick a card and and the card tells you what you have to throw with. And uh, (laughs) so you have 13 options. Uh, 10 of those are actual like discs. Mm -hmm. And then you have like a softball, you have like a, a PetSmart disc for dogs <laughs> and stuff like that. This is really appropriate, but our main guest on this show is a disc golf champion named Scott Stokely. Yeah. Was- oh, that's funny. Yeah, I've I've seen a, a couple of his his videos, his tutorials and stuff like that. He obviously, I mean, they still say uh, when you when you talk to people like Big Germ and, and Yuli are two guys that are trending right now in the disc golf world. They said, uh, like, who's got the best forehand forearm shot? And they still put Stokely on the top five. He's, yeah. he's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we should put you in touch. Look at us, John. We're matchmakers. How about that? huh? Disc and we have just champion. proved once again just how hip we are. <laughs> that. That, that is it's on our business card as if there was ever a doubt yeah. <laughs> but yeah so sweetheart entertainment is the youtube channel obviously you can follow me at sweetheart the comedian kind of all one phrase at uh you know instagram that's where i put all my updates on stuff and then also have sweetheartentertainment.com which is a double because you'll see the content creation side but the other half of what i do is actually working with businesses to get their employees like invested in the company and engaged and stuff. And so entertainment is obviously a way to keep employees engaged and happy at work and stuff like that. And so that's yeah. kind of what I'm doing now. Corporate entertainment, 
teaching people like from my background, public speaking is obviously not scary to me at all, mm -hmm. but it still terrifies half of the population. At least, and yeah. so it's like using the secrets and the, and the techniques you learn in entertainment and making that translate into the professional world and stuff like that. So cool. it's Very been a cool. wild yeah. ride, but it's been a, a real fun one. Bird Hart, thanks so much for joining us today on Golf is a Funny Game. Best of everything, my friend. Yes, thank you. I hope I get to come back sometime. We'll do some more. That <laughs> sounds like a challenge. We will be prepared better next time. <laughs> no, we won't. No, we won't. <laughs> Preparation isn't the point. <laughs> we say thanks once again to Bert Hart, and we suggest maybe you stay right where you're at. We're coming right back. Always wanted to go to college but just haven't found the time? What's the best way to earn your degree? Commuting to campus during these uncertain times? Getting stuck in traffic and rushing to class? Or learning online from your couch with your kid or on your porch with your puppy? At Independence University, your campus is wherever you want it to be. Don't go to college. Let college come to you. That's how you fit college into your schedule. Don't have a home computer? No problem. We can give you a new laptop and tablet to keep after you graduate. Learn from professional instructors with real work experience. And there's employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree and live a better life. Call now and get a laptop and tablet that's yours upon graduating. Financial aid is available to those who qualify. Get the degree you've always wanted. Call now, 800-798-8549. That's 800-798-8549. 800-798-8549. We came this close to winning that game, man. This close. No, you did. <laughs> I was out early. <laughs> I realized I was over my head. <laughs> you know what joke I should have told, but I didn't? What's that? What'd the fish say when he ran into the cement wall? Ouch. Damn. <laughs> you would have won. I think so. You're keep going in your hip pocket. <laughs> I need to plan my material much better. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think that's the case. So I get the feeling that if you just, if we sat here long enough, you could just keep going and going and going. Yeah, and going. yeah we can yeah. do that. Um, we're going to have Bert back. The way I was trying to come up with how we could work Rack in there, but he's not Bert back Rack. No, so we gotta no. have Bert back. This is no, whatever. This is why you're supposed to plan these things. That's right. <laughs> Write it out, John. Write it out. This off the cuff thing doesn't work all the time. Uh, we just want to thank, especially Scott Stokely, for spending so much time with this man. I mean, he is just a trip. He's a piece of work. What a great story. And what a great story. I mean, not only a brilliant athlete and and a pioneer in his industry, but you know what a great story of of you know making his way back from some dark places. Yeah, definitely. And then, of course, uh, Bert, so funny, so funny. We're going to have to do that on a regular basis, man. We'll we'll uh, arrange some material, and we'll maybe we maybe to get some of you to send in some of your bad jokes for us to use. Could you, you do go. that for us? You just send it to uh, to. to uh, but you know, I think the best way to do it is to the approach shot uh, Twitter page. So it's it's just literally at the approach shot. Okay. Send in your jokes and dad jokes, and send them in and. We'll use them if we think that they're worse than ours, which you know, would be hard. <laughs> Wouldn't be hard at all. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Twitter at the approach shot. Go there and follow us anyhow, just on general principles. You can also uh, check the website approachshot.net. You can always catch any of the episodes there. You can subscribe to any of the episodes you want to. We really appreciate the fact that a lot of you did that, uh, especially last week when we had Jeff Allen on. We really saw – uh, a lot of you that came by and enjoyed that. So, uh, yeah, just go by and, and pull up any of our episodes, the one with Joey Greco, the one with Ken Harvey, the one with James Blake, uh, Patrico Darbo, any of those. I think you'll enjoy those as much. And if you so if you're new to us and you just found us, welcome and uh, take a listen to some of the other shows. We think that you'll enjoy them as well. We certainly do. And we want you to keep in mind that uh, we have to remind you, you got to keep golf in perspective and remember that the same people that invented golf and called it a game, invented bagpipes, and called it music. That is so true <laughs> and so weird. And as uh, being with Scott would probably remind you, life is a gift, so go enjoy every day. You've been listening to The Approach Shot with the Weekend Golf Guys. If you like this week's episode, be sure to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you download your podcasts. And find us on the web at approachshot.net. <laughs>